this dang wind killing me. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is uh, Sunday, June 12th. I'm up here in the Uintas. Just found a nice little uh, spot to park. Nobody up here. We're going to find somewhere to camp for the night. Hopefully get into a fish or two. And uh, here we go. I just jumped a whole bunch of deer. Um, I'm trying to reacquire them. Well, I have made it to the lake. I. Uh, I had dry feet until I got here. Uh, the side of the lake that I wanted to camp at, which is the other side, is still uh, got so much water coming out of the ground. And uh, there's still quite a bit of snow in the shade. There was like three feet of snow uh, where I wanted to camp. So I found a good little place to camp, good little firing. Fishing on this side access is a little bit more uh, challenging. So we might walk over there later. I'm sure I will. But for right now, I'm a little hungry. I'm going to get my uh, wet shoes off, put sandals on, set up camp, and uh, go from there. It feels just incredible to be up here. I'm set up at camp. Uh, show you a little bit what I'm working with. I've got a camp cow pie. Next to that are my wet shoes and socks. They're drying out. There's my little day bag. Uh, mostly just my fishing stuff. Brought my little single person tent this time. Uh, hang time hook. I love this thing for watching movies at night. Uh, 20 degree quilt, Nemo tensor, Sea to Summit pillow, and uh, just a warm poof if I need it. My food bag is hanging in a tree right there for a minute to keep the critters out. And my backpack is hanging right here. This is a new backpack. I actually got it last year. I got it late in the season last year. It's the Waymark. Uh, just a beautiful pack. I love it. I've uh, only used it uh, just two or three times, but uh, I really like it. It's the simplest things, but this little side pocket right here, you know, I've got the double, the double side pockets there. I love this pocket. Anyways, that's that. I think it's only about one o'clock. I've still got a ton of daylight. The firing's just small. It doesn't need any maintenance. There's probably enough wood sitting next to it for tonight for me to, so I can have a little fire, but I'm gonna throw my pack on and go down, uh, go down to the lake. I got my five weight and my three weight. I don't know what I'm gonna use. I'll put them together when I get there. Uh, have not seen any fish activity yet. We got a fish on. Looks like a good fish. I was not expecting a, a, a brook trout that healthy out of this lake. Beautiful little fish. All right, we're just gonna do a release from the net. That's a good fish, healthy fish. Heck yeah. Oh, all right, I remember to turn the GoPro on. That's a start. It's a good fish. Oh boy, where's my net? <laughs> I, uh, I don't know if my GoPro caught any of that, uh, but that's a big, it's a big fish. It's quality. Good fight too. Slow fishing, but uh, the quality's there. Get him back in the water. Well, it is about uh, 3.30. It is so windy. I'm having a good time. I found a little pile of rocks over there. Um, it's really hard to film over there, so I didn't do a lot, but I caught, uh, I caught two really healthy brook trout and missed, uh, you know, four or five strikes. Uh, the problem was the wind. I just, you know, I, uh, when I realized uh, it was the fish and not the wind, it was too late, but I'm gonna head back to my camp for a bit and just kinda, think about things. <laughs> I might pull a, a weather report on my Garmin, but heading back to camp to relax.
Oh, that was a good tug. We're gonna try that again. Finally hooked in one tonight. Again, I've missed, uh, shoot, no less than 15 strikes. This one's pretty little. There we go. Pretty little compared to those other two. Fun though, thank you. So a bee just landed on me. Hey, day, why not? I'll tie a bee on. With that bee, I got this little guy. <laughs> About five inches. Well, that was fun. That little bee right there. All right, so this is my next cast with the bee. It, uh, it feels a lot better. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh boy, come to me. Oh, heck yeah. It's another one of those fat brook trout. Look at that guy. Look at that brook trout. That was, uh, that was on the bee again, very next cast. is a beautiful fish. Let him recover in the net for just a minute. Yep, he's ready. Goodbye. Heck yeah. It is so windy, um, and it was supposed to be a little windy today, but um, according to my Garmin, there's gonna be 30 mile an hour gusts from now until about 10 o'clock at night. There's a storm coming in tomorrow. It wasn't supposed to start up here where I'm at until around 10. That's now changed to four in the morning. I was originally just gonna pack up at like six and go, but I've decided I'm gonna pack up and go. I'm 30 minutes away from my truck, so there's no commitment here at all. I've actually had a great day, spent the whole day up here. I'm hoping to be out for at least one night, probably two next weekend. Uh, high country's opened up, so you know we're gonna be back at it a lot. I have got a lot of uh, messages uh, through YouTube and my Instagram asking where I've been. I'm, you know, I'm around. I've actually been out a lot. I just haven't filmed it, and I've started a second YouTube channel. Um, I'm gonna put a link to it below. You know, if you want to check it out, give me some support there. Awesome. If not, we'll see you back here probably next week.